Ah, baby T-Rex was adorable. There, I said it. Hard to imagine those two words in the same sentence. But come on, even Big Bad T-Rex didn't pop out of its shell all big, scary, and fully grown. In its first few months on Earth, Baby T was a cute, fluffy, turkey-sized ball of fuzz. It was kind of like a weird-looking bird coming out of an oversized egg. Not enough food, dangerous surroundings, asteroids, hmm. Poor baby T's were so helpless and weak, only about half of them made it to their first birthday party. Scientists think their fuzz was there to keep them warm when they were still small and vulnerable. Plus, it helped them camouflage and stay safe. Baby T's didn't have big, sharp teeth. Yet. So, they mostly munched on smaller reptiles and insects. Baby T's grew up pretty fast. They put on up to 6 pounds a day. Hey, I've done that. No, not really. Just felt like it. The weirdest fact about them? When they were little, their arms looked totally normal compared to their bodies. But by the time they were full-grown, their parents were super famous. Plastered all over t-shirts, um, that would be a T-Rex t-shirt, um, movies, and the greatest Halloween costume ever, in my humble opinion. But the T-Rex we know and love didn't really exist. First of all, speed. They weren't really that fast. In the movies, you could never get away from them, even if the path was clear and you were in a pretty decent car. Early predictions were that T-Rexes could run somewhere between 10 and 30 miles an hour, which is whoa! But recent research shows they could only reach around 12 miles per hour. Anything more than that would have shattered their massive bones. So relax. After a couple months of training, even the most dedicated couch potato could get away from the sharp teeth of this guy. And what about our good friend Stegosaurus? It lived around 150 million years ago, so it didn't even get the chance to meet those cute baby teeth. They appeared much later. We all recognize this dinosaur. It's the one with those ridiculous upright plates on its back. They were sometimes up to 3 feet tall. You could hide behind one. Scientists still don't really know why they had them, but they think Stegosaurus could have regulated blood flow through them, like a massive bony thermostat. They also believe these dinos could use the same system to control their skin color, depending on whether they wanted to look good or look scary. Sounds impressive, right? Well, at least something about them does, because this poor thing had a brain that weighed just a tiny bit more than a tennis ball and was around the size of a walnut. That's a dog's brain in a hippo's body. Troodon was one of the most brainy dinosaurs. A great all-around fella, excellent hunter, stereoscopic vision, 6 feet long, and a brain that just won't quit. What a catch! Troodon's remains were one of the first dinosaur discoveries in North America. One of the weirdest members of the dinos was definitely… well, let's just call her Sue. If you met her, you'd feel like you're looking at a big turkey rat thing with a super furry body. It might be the long-lost grandma of the modern ground sloth. Its buddy, Pegamostax, definitely wasn't far behind when it comes to racking up the weirdo points. It looked like something between a porcupine and parrot. But don't say that to its face, it had a couple of pointy teeth that could sharpen against one another. The largest and one of the heaviest known dinosaurs was Argentinosaurus. No one ever found a complete skeleton, but this beast must have weighed about 100 tons and was about 130 feet long. Compare it to the biggest animal we have now, the blue whale. It's only 100 feet long. When someone says dinosaur, you probably imagine some big-as-a-building beast that could use a tree as a toothpick. Some of them were gigantic, true, like those long-neck, long-tail dinos. Those things were as long as an airplane. But many of them were small and lightweight, some of them the size of pigeons. The smallest dinosaur skeleton ever found was a tiny mouse lizard. Some dinosaurs had tails that were more than 45 feet long. That way, it was easier for them to keep their balance when running. But they didn't drag their tail along the ground. Dinosaurs kept pretty active and were quite fast, so they kept their tails in the air most of the time. Even though that naughty asteroid wiped most of them out, a lot of dino DNA stuck around and morphed into animals we know today, like birds. The first time anyone even thought of linking the two together, 
was after they discovered a primitive bird in Germany. Sehr gut! Later, researchers classified two groups of dinosaurs, depending on what kind of hips they had. The first group looked pretty familiar. They had lizard-like hips. The second group had bird-like hips. And a third group looked like Shakira, which is where her tune My Hips Don't Lie comes from. Actually, no. Also, plenty of old-school carnivores had bones filled with air, which is something birds have too. Birds may be the dinosaurs' living descendants, but some animals actually witnessed the age of dinosaurs. If only they could talk. Snakes, bees, sharks, crabs, lobsters, yum, crocodiles, cockroaches, even green sea turtles. They all actually saw real dinosaurs. So jealous. Carnivore dinos mostly walked on two feet. That way they could be faster and have their hands free to grab a little snackosaurus. Plant eaters walked on four feet so they could carry their heavy bodies. Some of the bigger plant eaters needed around a ton of food per day, literally. Imagine animals so big, they had to eat a house-sized pile of veggies on a daily basis. Still, a huge bush a day keeps the doctor away. Is that where that started? There are around 700 known species of extinct dinosaurs. Sounds like a lot, but we probably haven't discovered them all. Five years back, they found out about a new type of dinosaur. It had these stubby horns right above its eyes, which looked so much like the comic book character. They named it Hellboy. Hop on the Bright Side of Life together with our brand new tees, hoodies, and more. Click the link to pick your choice. In the 90s, scientists discovered a crater in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. You know the story. Around 66 million years ago, a meteor the size of Mount Everest hit our planet and filled the atmosphere with dust, gas, and debris that caused a serious climate catastrophe. It triggered a heat wave and a blast wave that went up into the atmosphere, partially blocking out the sun. Game over. Thanks for playing, dinosaurs! The age of humans never crossed over with the dinosaur era. Dinosaurs disappeared more than 60 million years ago, but they existed on Earth for 160 million years. Modern-looking humans have only been around for about 250,000 years. Only 59 million years to go, people! Not all the dinosaurs were on vacation in Mexico when the asteroid hit. They lived all over the globe. Some lived in deserts, while others lived in areas near ancient rivers surrounded by thick forests and rich vegetation. And they weren't too picky, so they lived wherever, even Antarctica. But it wasn't covered in snow back then. Both poles had forests growing on them. Most people imagine all dinosaurs to be grayish-green, because of the movies. Plus, we usually just think of them as giant lizards. Scientists still don't know much about dinosaur skin tones, but researchers recently found some evidence that dinosaurs totally embraced the rainbow. One little guy had white and orange rings on his tail. Dinosaur is Greek for terrible lizard. Scientists used to think dinosaurs were mostly cold-blooded like snakes, lizards, or other reptiles. Turns out they were wrong, maybe. Some evidence pointed to them being warm-blooded like mammals. Somewhere in 2014, scientists discovered that most dinosaurs were mesotherms. A little of this, a little of that. And it turned out many of them had feathers, just like little baby tea. It helped them regulate their body temperature. Another thing we got from the movies and totally thought was real? What dinosaurs sound like? Producers usually mix together a bunch of animal noises to get that authentic dino roar. T-Rex is usually a mix of alligator, tiger, and the squealing of a baby elephant. And that dreaded T-Rex breath? It was just the sound of air going through a whale's blowhole.